this, you know, to talk about the coursework. We started three, four weeks ago now. When we ask two questions, what is law? I'm not going to address this one. This would, you know, be a completely different set of uh, lectures uh, to talk about justice. When we talk about law, we don't necessarily talk about justice. Yes? We may include discussions about moral values and religion, but we're not talking about justice. I haven't defined justice. We haven't talked about justice. We haven't defined justice. Uh, exactly the same exercise we've been doing with law, many definitions. We are going to have many definitions, and we crit can criticize all definitions about justice. But I'm not going to go there. We, we, we are not going to do that here. We cover so far what normative systems are, yes? set of rules. The main two, law and morality. And the main two theories, natural law and positive law. Yes? Who makes the law? Humans, God, nature, or reason. We gave this as examples. We are going to only focus on three, religion, morals, and law. If in your essays or in your arguments you bring the Bible or the Quran, that is a religious argument, yes, and I want the source, not because I think abortion is wrong for the Bible or the Quran, give me the source. Give me the source. If you bring a religious argument, you better bring a religious counter-argument. Yes? I don't want you to argue in terms of law with moral and religious argument. Clear? Yes? If you have decided to go for a research that may include religion, moral, and law, I'm okay with that. However, see what kind of argument you're going to include in your essays, and then offer me the sort of counter-argument that would go in tune with those arguments. Clear? Because I think you know by now there are three very different normative systems. Whatever is legal or illegal may, but it doesn't need to be right or wrong. Yes, and we have the example this week <coughs> with these people being trapped in the cave. Five different views. Whether they were guilty or non-guilty, we have five different ways of reasoning. That's called legal reasoning. Yes? Applying utilitarian, deontological arguments, applying natural law, positive law, and so on. Yes? So that's why I'm not going to both of them are fine, yes? Now, in natural law, we said natural law by default because it's being created by God, nature, or reason. In all cases, I'm going to include moral values. So in all cases, if law is created by God or Allah, I'm going to talk about whether that action is right or wrong. Yes, always. By default, it will include, not it would, it will, by default, include moral values. If I'm a positive lawyer, Black letter law, yes? The case of the cave uh, you had, uh, or you, you, you have this week if you haven't had your workshop. These people being trapped in a cave, they had to kill someone, eat that someone in order to survive. Those are the facts, very basically put. And the rule was, or the black letter law, if someone is killed, the killer is sentenced to death, or death penalty. Do you agree with that? That is black letter law. Why? Because that rule was created in that case by parliament or by the Congress. Yes? That is black letter law. Law created by men for men. Yes? Now, even I have black letter law, positive law, I'm going to have two options here in terms of positive law. The choice whether I'm going to include moral values or not. And that was the rest of my classes. The, 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 all the classes I've been uh, delivering up to today had to do with positive law, so law created by men for men, and deciding whether I'm going to include moral values or not. Are we on the same page so far? Yeah? The first one, I mean, I could have started earlier yeah, with, with other theories. I decided to start with this one because right now, we are using the one that follow Austin. I, I saw this on Snapchat. Uh, I, I changed the timer now. I think someone asked me to change the timer. I hope they are lasting longer now, the pictures. Uh, are they lasting longer? Perfect. Thank you very much. Now I'm learning with you. I told you this. So thank you for saying. Austin. Do you need to remember Austin? No, but this is his main book. Many other publications. This is his main book. Law. 
a set of rules and define it. I mean, you play with, with the vocabulary. I'd like you to be able to play with vocabulary. To me, the key is, in all cases, I have a set of rules. Yes. Creative, if I had to be technical, remember this one, yes? If I had to be technical, if I wanted to ask you a question, which I'm not going to ask you a question <laughs> in the assessment, created by someone in particular, so we have a definition according to Austin, the sovereign. Yeah? Someone elected or not in a territory that is being obeyed, but that doesn't, or who doesn't obey anyone else, yes? The key here, you may add all this, you may add, the key here for Austin is this element, yes? A set of rules that have to do with sanction. In all cases, that set of rules must include a sanction, a punishment. Not any kind of sanction, it has to be a punishment. Do we remember this? That was Austin. If I don't have a punishment, I don't have law. <coughs> which is fine. If you want to go for this one, you don't need to use moral values. Yes, Austin cares very little about moral values in law. And that could be an answer for your essay, because there are still judges, there are still people, even in the case you had to do for workshop three, I don't know if you read, but some of the judges follow this approach. Because I have a sanction, I have law. Because I kill someone, I have to apply that law. They are guilty. As simple as, yes, they are still judges, they are still uh, people in the prosecution service, they are still people in the that may use this kind of argumentation. I'm happy you use this. Yes? For you to know, this is Austin, if you want further research. If I don't have a sanction, I don't have a law. A Kelsen, I didn't refer to Kelsen, I, I'm, I'm a Kelsenian. I have continental style um, take on law. To me, law is like doing mathematics of logic. Yeah? To me, law, it has very little to do with moral values. However, you don't need a sanction per se, you need a consequence. You have behavior, and for every behavior in law, you ought to have a consequence. If I'm signing, I'm giving you money, and you're giving me the keys to your house, and we are signing a piece of paper, that means we are signing a contract. There is a consequence. We are both bound by that contract, yes? So he defines sanction in a bit of a more broad fashion than Austin. Um, Hart is going to disagree with this take. He disagrees using the same kind of uh, criticism he's going to use with Austin. I disagree with Hart here. I'm not going to go on this if you want to use someone that doesn't include moral values and doesn't define sanction as Austin Kelsen is your guy. Yeah? But I didn't have time to explain this, and this is jurisprudence. So if anyone that wants to answer this question, I'm more than happy to uh, advise you in particular uh, before February. Clear? I'm not going to go into more detail because I will need you know, a, a separate class, or okay, by a few separate classes on Kelsen. We did cover him. Hard. For hard, what is law? Same, a set of rules. We started with Austin. Austin got his chair in Oxford. Austin finished, and then we had Hart. Hart says a few good things about uh, the way Austin defined law, a set of rules, by someone being obeyed by people in a certain territory. However, the main difference, I don't know if you remember from last class, there are certain rules in law that do not have a punishment a sanction defined as punishment. Yeah? Remember, we talk about the rules of contract, rules of marriage, uh, tort, and so on. He's going to define the law in terms of primary and secondary rules. Yes, That's the, the second guy with, with Austin, set of rules with punishment. Hard set of rules that are primary and secondary. Do we remember this? Do I need sanction? I don't, to define the law. I'm going to have rules that refer to people, to behavior, permissions, obligations, and prohibitions. And then we're going to have rules that refer to other rules. Procedure, or how someone gets elected, how someone may be a prime minister in this country. There are rules referred to other rules, how the constitution may be amended, how we vote whether you may have proxy voting or you may have to go to the school and vote, yes, those are procedural rules, so rules that 
refer to other rules. All this for her is long. And then we finished last time with this guy, Devlin. Devlin, a judge. Remember we talked about um, one uh, commission, the World Bank Commission uh, from in the 60s, 50s and, and early 60s. Uh, cases, criminal offenses in cases of prostitution and homosexuality, public display, remember this? And we have a very particular view here. Once again, what is law for him? A set of rules that has to do with the enforcement of morality, yes? In society, we have any behavior that is considered immoral, moral values, yes? And remember, we have a problem how we define immoral. To me, to the rest, and we have several texts according to Devlin. It may be someone on the bus, someone in the jury, and so on. Remember, it's difficult to define immoral, because whatever may be immoral for me, it may be immoral for you, and vice versa, yes? So first of all, we have to decide this. And here we have whatever is immoral goes against us, the community. So law, for this type for Devlin, law is here as a set of rules, once again, to enforce, to make sure that morals are working in this society. Yes? So by default, he said, <coughs> positive law judge. Law is created by parliament for Devlin, that doesn't change the fact that he's positive, yes? Law is created by parliament. The difference between Devlin and the others, for Devlin, law must, must include moral values, yes? For Devlin, law must include moral values. Why? Because that's the whole point of having law. If not, we wouldn't need law. Law is here in only, only to make sure that we are complying with our moral values. Clear? Yes? For heart, if you wish to define, it's a maybe. It's a maybe. I may have moral values, I may not have moral values. Yes? For Devlin, I must have moral values. Yeah? Now, your um, handout here. I put here some others. Fuller, why did I put the cross? And working. This is too much detail. You're not going to need this. This would have been if um, I had to teach jurisprudence here. Yeah. I decided to leave all this, <coughs> sorry, all this information because some people are into philosophy, some people are into legal philosophy and political theory, and some people may want to go for option one in the coursework. I'm more than happy for these people, again, I'm not, uh, you know, in all the workshops, however, I'm still the union leader. If you decided to answer option one, and you decided to go for Dwork in a full, I, I would advise you to choose one only, yes? I'm more than happy to give you advice on that. I don't see the point in adding more information, you know, for all. This is too much. However, I decided to leave all this information here. So you know there are many others. That's why, probably my mission here, you are entitled to have your own definition, yes? You are entitled to make a decision whether you include moral values or not. The only thing I'm going to ask is support your answer. Yes? Make a decision and support your answer. I know that there are many, many. The only one I'm going to, to, to be introducing today is this guy. That's why I put him here, because it's like a fairy tale. That's why I decided to go for this one. Finis. Finis, he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still teaching. He's still active as a professor. I mean, his theory is very solid. I didn't put this uh, in, in, in a derogative sense. I'm just trying to uh, show you that we are not talking about the Bible. We are not talking about the Quran. We are not talking about 3,000 years ago. We are talking about now. In, a, in the UK, we are not talking about Latin America.